Good morning everyone and welcome back to Seattle. So I thought I would do a little vlog today. I'm currently having my coffee and we're gonna eat out quite a bit today. It's my mom's last couple of days of her visit. So I'm gonna take her to Fremont and then we're gonna go to Green Lake and then go somewhere for dinner. All kind of undecided and we'll see how we feel and what we feel like doing but coffee is always the right first step and then I have some cuteness to show you look who I found so we currently live in a zoo there is baby Sammy and lady and these two have been getting to know each other pretty shyly it's their first time meeting um, since my mom has come over to visit but it's pretty cute yesterday they were both on the bed kind of sniffing each other so they're both coming out of their shells a lady has uh, high hopes of giving Sammy a lick before she heads back to Hawaii right little poodle look at this naughtiness you guys i don't know what it is she wants in there but she is quickly figuring out how to open that door she also knows how to open sliding doors and even doors with door handles and i'm sure is quickly going to be teaching the little one how to do that look at that what do you want in there that's where my carry-on bag is stored bb what naughtiness are you getting up to only she knows her grand plan <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself in there? Are you enjoying yourself in there? <laughs> yep, just as boring as I predicted. So like I think I mentioned when I did my casual lookbook, everything is pretty cash here in Seattle. People don't tend to even dress up for brunch, um, which I feel like they do a little bit in Vancouver depending on where you go. So here's my outfit of the day, super cozy, and then I'll change for dinner later. So I'm wearing my new Anjou Pearl earrings, my gray sweater. This is from Vince, um, purchased either at Saks Off Fifth or Nordstrom Rack. I don't remember now because I went to both, um, but I will link it down below if it's still available. It's really soft and thin, so it's a good layering piece for a day when it's not really all that cold. And then, I don't know how well you can see. My leggings are new. They're from Lululemon. Here, I'll do this. And they have these really pretty silver foil and velvet flecks all over them. So from far away, it almost looks like camo, but then up close, it's actually pretty shiny and cool. So I really like them because they're black and so fit right into what I normally get from Lululemon, black bottoms, colorful tops, um, but they're a little bit different. And then I have my Vionic slip-ons because we're going to go for a walk, so I wanted something comfy to wear. So then on top of all of that, I'm going to wear my Centaur jacket to keep me cozy. I'm not sure how cold it is outside. It's probably pretty brisk. So that is my outfit of the day. So we're at a really cute little neighborhood place in Fremont called Le Quint, sort of French food. And we have some hot donuts that we are pretty excited about. And I have your favorite person here, guys. <laughs> Mom cameo. Yeah. And these are apple fritters. They are so cute with pear butter. And then you got a grapefruit juice. And I got an orange juice, so we're happy to be having brunch. It's like our favorite thing to do together, I feel like. <laughs> you do on a Sunday. Yeah, exactly, true. What did you get? Look at that spread. Really good. Thank you so much. Beautiful hot sauce. I'm a hot so sauce person. The steak and eggs. Oh, very nice. Look at that baguette. And you bought all the hollandaise sauce. Yeah. <laughs> you can have some if you want. Oh, okay. Really Cherries. And then I have a pork shoulder hash. It has some vegetables, mushroom, zucchini, nice roasted vegetables going on there. And the apple fritters were freaking amazing. So yummy so far. Good choice, mom. She's the one who found this place online. So good job. <laughs> Just standing outside, we're gonna go to Sea Wolf to pick up some bread, I think, for breakfast tomorrow. But I wanted to show you the outside of the restaurant because it's super cute, like most Seattle restaurants are, but it was really, really high quality food for the price. It's definitely one of my top five restaurants I've been to in Seattle so far, so I wanted to share it with you. And onwards and upwards to our next stop. Next stop is Sea Wolf, where apparently the good bread is to be had. I don't think so. 
think it's just back here. Yeah, it's right here. Sure. Yeah. No, I'm good. Yeah, no, I don't need a bell for coffee. Beautiful bread. So I was looking for a good coffee place in like around Green Lake so that you can get like a hot beverage and then go for a walk. And we found Revolution Coffee and I got a cappuccino and it's really good. It's really velvety, it's not bitter, but it's really, really strong. <laughs> So I thought I'd show you guys the pretty view. I'm sipping on my coffee. My mom is the pretty view is that way, not this way. That's true, but still, <laughs> at least for me, you're my special visitor. You are the pretty view. We have some pretty duckies here, really cute. And this is Green Lake. If you've never been here before, it's supposed to be especially, um, you know, glorious during the summer. But it's still pretty nice, and I love how many people just kind of walk around here. It feels really nice um, at the weekend. Very chilled vibes and it's just starting to feel like kind of like a little bit warmer and spring-like here so it's nice to spend some time outside and get some fresh air good evening everyone so after all of our walking around i changed into something a little bit different so it's pretty brisk outside as the day is going on so these are my aquatalia boots love aquatalia such good quality then i changed out of i mean it's funny to say the jeans are dressier but i guess compared to the lululemons they kind of are so i changed into my current elliot jeans and then i have my very pretty leopard sweater both my mom and I love this sweater. It was from Saks Off Fifth, so I'll include anything that they have that's similar because they have really awesome prices on cashmere that I have been taking lots of advantage of since I've been trying to build a little bit of this capsule um, wardrobe. So the other thing that helps kind of get ready for dinner after a long day is to switch up your accessories. I switched up my earrings. So these are my new earrings, same collection that I was wearing this morning, but these are the Darkwing Indigo. And I feel like even far away here, I'll show you a better view, but you can see the luster is like electric for them they're so pretty so i thought that that would kind of give a little bit of a nice edge to this outfit and we're gonna go eat some dumplings now i'm so excited for din tai fung i really wanted to take my mom back there before she left because it's how we started the trip so this will be her second din tai fung evening and they just have the yummiest dumplings and green beans ever so we're gonna go eat that and then um she tells me that she's gonna get like an extra order of something to take on the plane with her to go home so that is the plan for this evening so here we are it's a very nice restaurant and you really liked your first visit right mom yes it was delicious so we're coming back you're a little wind blown here there we go <laughs> Thank you. So we ordered some hot sake. It was actually really, really cold outside. So I will pour some for you as well. It's our little tradition. And then I will show you guys what we ordered because we ordered quite a lot of delicious food. All right, so first round of food, we have a pork chop noodle soup, which looks delicious. And then my mom is super confused because these are upside down. Oh, I see. So the dumplings are like underneath. I don't know if I can flip this. Watch me like, ah. oh. oh well, that's okay. There we go. See, now they're dumplings again, yay. They put the crispy top, like the crispy side, huh? side up. They're really yummy. Should I serve you one? If you guys have not had these beans before, they're not like your ordinary green beans. They're amazing. They're so garlicky. It's really savory. The other thing they do that is super well known are these beautiful little steak dumplings. Mine is leaking a little bit. So they have a little manual on the table that tells you that you're supposed to punch a little hole in it and then sip the broth. Mine is actually leaking a little bit. So I'm gonna try it and it's not like scalding hot like you might be afraid to burn your mouth with. So I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. And it's kind of like magic. There's soup inside the dumpling. They're so yummy and savory. They just have so many tasty things here. Every time we over order and then we bring back a large 
doggy bag home and then leftovers are always a delicious thing to look forward to. So that was delicious as always. Here's the outside of the restaurant. We're in Pacific Center and it's really nice for, oh my God, I always Pacific do this. Pacific Place. Pacific Place. You guys from Vancouver will understand why I said that. It's so confusing. They're both like the nice, similar, no? modern shopping centers in the middle of the city. You wanna say bye? Bye. It was a very good visit. We ate lots of tasty things, some of which you saw, some of which you didn't, but yeah. the ones you saw today were extra good, I feel like. Yeah. This is a good place. Hmm. So we are gonna head home. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next installment. Bye. These are the leftovers, so this is what I'll be eating tomorrow, if you're curious. <laughs>